Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am showing you inside the Hola Amigo Spanish subscription box. This is not a sponsored video, but we just really, really, really love this and wanted to share it with you all. So if you're curious to see what's inside, then stick around. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours If you saw my most recent curriculum video that I put out, you will have seen that we are using Hola Amigo for our Spanish curriculum. But just a little backstory, we did not have a Spanish curriculum last year. I have a kindergartner and a second grader, and we just kind of informally would listen to songs and things like that to help build up their kind of base vocabulary. But I wanted something a little more structured, but still very play-based and the Facebook ads got me and the Hola Amigo subscription box has now become a part of our family. It is the very first subscription box we have ever purchased and committed to and there is absolutely no regret because we have our first box. We've done one day of kind of projects with it and it is so fun and we love it so much. So we love it so much that I had to show you guys what's inside. It is very, very, very cool. They have two options. They have a toddler monthly subscription box, which is $29.95, and then they have an early learner subscription box, which is $39.95. We went with the early learners because our girls are obviously not toddlers anymore. And then it's $10 a month more to add a sibling kit, which just basically gives you a second set of all of the consumable products that you use from the box. So a total of $49.95 a month for these boxes. So let's show you what's inside. The first thing you see when you open the box is a welcome card. Welcome to the Hola Amigo Club. And it basically kind of tells you what to do. Start by reading the book, choose an activity, practice the vocab, have fun, and repeat. So there is not a like, do this on day one, do this on day two, here's a workbook, nothing like that, which is exactly what I was trying to avoid. So it's perfect. It is all game-based. On the back, it tells you the month and year. This is the August of 2020 box. And it tells you the um, topic, like the kind of theme of the box. Mis sentidos y el verano. So it's my senses in the summertime. And it is perfect because it's a lot of kind of revolving around the beach, which we are about to go to the beach next weekend. So couldn't have been more perfect timing. There is... Um, kind of a chart with the different activities and crafts that you can do and of course there's more instructions in each of the bags but it just gives you kind of a summary so there are three different bags of items the first is le which is the reading bag crea which is create or the craft bag and this scubre which is the discover bag and it has little kind of activities so i'm going to show you what's in all of these things oh my gosh it's so fun like i am so <laughs> excited about this might be weird but i seriously get so excited about this kind of stuff so in the first one which is the read one we have explorando la playa exploring the beach and this is a book obviously about exploring the beach using your senses so again it all kind of goes back to the five senses and kind of reinforces vocabulary by repeating it a lot in fun ways so we have this book and we have mis sentidos my senses which is another book as well this smaller book in case you are not a spanish speaking person or you have no idea how to speak spanish you can still do this with your kids because it has the english translations underneath and then this book came with a paper that has the translations for you here. So you can go to the page that you're on and see the English translation for the book, which is perfect. And then there are also QR codes that you can find kind of throughout this whole kit that you can scan and it brings you to an audio file of someone speaking that. So if you don't know how to speak it or have a question about something like that, but the pronunciation, then you can use those QR codes to do those as well. Also in the read packet was Aventuras con Azulito. And so these are the little like workbooks. They're very thin, they're not like really, but we got two of them for the both of the girls. So this is one of the things that comes with two if you pay that extra $10 a month. 
and it just has fun activities. So we did this one today where you listen to the song, um, what is it called? Uh, Cinco Ranita, Five Frogs, and it talks about the frogs and kind of has a fun song. It's like the five little speckled frogs. It's that song, but in Spanish. And so as they hear it, they trace with their finger um, the number five and go from lily, lily pad to lily pad to go along with that. So yes, it's a little bit um, easy for especially my second grader, but she had fun with it, which is the most important thing. It has a song here that you can, again, scan the QR code to listen to, and it has an, a couple activities there. So that is what is in that book. And then the last thing that came in the read package are these cards. So they're two-sided. They have one side has a sentence and a picture. And then the other side has letters, numbers, and pictures of things that they are gonna learn the vocabulary for throughout this whole box. So we can use these throughout the whole thing. So today we have learned um, the words oceana, peces, and um, arena, sand. And um, I would put a card down and say, if you see something that you know the word for, raise your hand. And then they would raise their hand and then they would get so excited because they remembered the word and it was a lot of fun. So reinforcement of vocabulary and a fun game all in one. So that is all that was in the read um, Ziploc. And then it also has extra stuff here for each one that tells you just if different ideas, questions you can ask, different games you can play, things like that. It kind of gives that all to you. All right, the next bag is the create bag. We also did one of these today, so I'll show you that in a minute. But in this one, they're using some of the vocabulary. They're using their senses. So use sense of touch to guide the beads onto a sun necklace, which is right here. So they have everything you need to make the little sun necklace. And of course, there's two of them. Um, that's another reproducible there. There is also an explore your senses as you sprinkle sand to create a colorful summer picture. So they're creating sand art. This whole time we're talking about our senses, using the vocabulary that we have learned for our senses to reinforce that. But there's two of those for each of the girls where they're creating sand art with little pockets of sand and cut out shapes and then the one that they did today was a floating sailboat we use our eyes to see a sailboat floating on the water what other senses will you use to build this boat and then we would use the spanish words that we have learned to talk about the other senses that we have used and then these are their little sailboats that they created today which is so fun and they can't wait to take a bath so that they can try them out and see if they actually float, which of course they will cut their foam. So that is the create bag for the August box. And then the last bag is the discover bag, which we have not done any of this yet, um, but it's definitely gonna be an activity that we do next. But one of the things in the discover box is sand shape mats. So there's two mats, one for each of the girls, and there's um, a sailboat with different shapes and the Spanish word for each of the shapes. And then there's an ice cream cone one that they can build ice cream out of their sand. And then it came with the sand as well. So it's it's very um, kind of like kinetic sand, I guess you'd say. It, it looks almost like a cross between kinetic sand and Play-Doh. So I haven't actually like touched it yet, but that is i don't want to like make a big mess but that's one of the items in the discover thing the next one is to create a sensory bin by putting water beads in there so it comes with um, two different packages of water beads and then you can put these magnetic letters so we can pop out the magnetic letters there's uppercase and lowercase and we can pop them out and put them into the bowl with the water beads and use these super like nicely done magnets. These are not like cheap. These are like good magnets and there's one for each of them that they can use to kind of fish around in the water bowl and get a letter out and then they can tell me how to pronounce that letter in Spanish. So I definitely can't wait for this one. This one's probably going to be the next activity that we do when we do Spanish next. 
Oh, here are two more of the sand shape mats. Put the fish under the wave on this one. There's two of them. And then um, pull la comida and la parilla. Put the food on the grill. So there's that one as well. Forgot to show you those ones. But so there's a lot of choices. And then the next thing in the Discover one, um, we have these letter boards on the back of these. And then we have this game, which sense classify each in image by sense. So there are these cutout um, objects and you classify them in the right box based on which sense you would use to look at it, smell it, whatever. So for example, we have a cookie, la galleta. You could put that in touch because you can touch it. You could put that in smell. You can definitely smell it. You can put that in taste because you can taste it. Um, so and so. So there's more than one option for where you can put these but that is that game so honestly with all of this stuff that you get and the like total it's seriously like a month's worth of activities and fun it is well worth the price 39.95 plus the 10 dollars for each sibling kit and you've got a whole month of Spanish and then a new one is sent to you next month with a new theme. So I highly recommend checking it out. Again, this is not sponsored. I just really love it and wanted to share it with you guys. Just in case you're looking for something fun but educational that you want to do with your kids. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you have tried it or if you are going to try it now. Make sure you're subscribed because one of the next videos will be our camping vlog from our trip. But for now, remember to stay humble, be kind, and we will see you all next time. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue.